Yo, I've got some terrible lighting going on right now, but I really wanted to do this quick review of a fantastic decaf espresso blend from Ceremony Coffee Roasters. And they're out of Maryland, specifically Annapolis, Maryland. And this was and is the first coffee that is decaf or in other words, decaf coffee that I've ever reviewed. So this is a Colombian coffee and it's from the Huila, Huila department. And the variety is a Kaya, which I'm not sure I've ever had before. And it's processed sugarcane decaffeination. So I'm gonna have more info on how coffee is decaffeinated in the review itself, the written review, but for now, you'll just have to accept it as decaf coffee. I'm not going to tell you really what that means beyond it has less caffeine than your standard cup. And the first shot I pulled with this thing was delicious. Uh, notes of cherry. I would say there was a Tootsie Roll element to it, milk chocolate really beautiful balance and I actually got two bags from them because one of them didn't arrive on time so they just sent me another one but it really still has a great aroma this is probably yeah we're we're already a month off roast here but these beans are still holding up so I'll give you a look at them Hopefully the lighting doesn't fail me. There they are. So yeah, medium dark, I'd say. And I'll read you the, the tasting notes on the bag. Dr. Pepper Aromatics. Uh, yeah, I could see that. Sweet and juicy with smoked cherry in cup. So yeah, the cherry was something I definitely picked up, up picked up on, and that was actually before I, I read what this bag had to say. So let me read you some of my notes here. Three days off roast was my first shot. It did 20 grams, and I pulled 40 grams in about 25 seconds. So there was that cherry flavor and a hint of that cinnamon Tootsie Roll. Not that that exists, but there was a hint of cinnamon separately from the Tootsie Roll. And it wasn't bitter, nor was it sour. It was really a nice balance. And um, I kept going with it and really, I don't think I pulled one bad shot with this and that's pretty impressive considering the equipment that I'm using. I'm using that My Pressy Twist which you've probably seen in some of my videos if you've watched them already. I'll probably show it to you in this video at the end but it's not really um, a piece of espresso equipment that you can necessarily rely on especially when it comes to temperature but it does pull legitimate shots and it was especially legitimate with this blend so for my first decaf I couldn't be more thrilled especially when I can pull espresso shots and not get too hopped up on caffeine and just enjoy it for the taste that it brings me and I'll probably pull some shots still with what I have. Uh, I'm not going to get too caught up on the fact that it's a month post roast. I know that's faux pas to people in the coffee industry, but hey, you know, I think I can still get something good out of this. So once again, Ceremony Coffee Roasters, check them out. This is really a fantastic, fantastic blend. And I got it once again for my Mesa Box subscription.